Hey guys, I will be teaching you how to add simple animations that will make your website feel more responsive and beautiful. And the good thing about it is that it doesn't take a minute to implement. So let's get started. Hmm. The project that I want to add animations to is called To-Do List using Firebase Authentication and Real-Time Database. If you haven't watched that yet, it will be the first link in the description. Alright, first, we need to look for what we want to animate. We want to animate the to-do list, this container right here, and then this to-do is VG. So we will be animating this using the class names. For this to-do list, it will, be, it will be welcome and h1, which is right here. So we'll be using this block of code to animate this to-do list. And also the animation that we're going to do is the fading right. So it will be fading right. And also for the container, it will be fading right. For the to do is VG for this guy right here, it will be fading left. So let's go and do the to do list and the container right here. So for the to do list, it will be welcome and we'll be targeting the H1. So welcome and H1. So there's two things that we need to add here it will be animation duration. Let's put it at 400 milliseconds and then the name of our animation. So it will be animation that uh, name. And then we'll just name it uh, fade uh, right. That's all we need inside welcome targeting h1. And then here we'll write at keyframes and then the identifier, which is going to be the name we've named our animation should be fade right. And then here from and then one more to right. So from It'll be coming from left, and we're just gonna put it like uh, 1,000 pixel. So it will be starting from the left. So it will be so it will be out of the screen from the start, right? And then two for two, we'll be setting to left 46 pixel, right? So if we save this, refresh our page. There you go. And for the container. And then we need to do the same thing for the container. So it'll be, I'm just gonna copy this and then fade right for the container. I'm just gonna put fade right container and then copy this. Fade right container for the identifier and then from negative 1000 pixel and then to. So it'll be the left of the container. So left 100 pixel, 150 pixel and then left 150 pixel. Save. And then let's refresh the page. Perfect. Now we need to do same thing for the uh, guy right here for the SVG. So where's the SVG? SVG is right here. So the class name of the SVG is to do the dash SVG. Search for that, and then we're gonna name it animation duration 400 ms. And then for the name, we're gonna name it SVG. SVG animation keyframe SVG animation from to and then here may right negative 1000 pixel and then right it will be right 300 pixel save and then let's refresh the page look at that beautiful right now let's log in and then do same thing for our uh, when we add to do. So let's say when we add a to do, let's say clean and then plus we add it. We want uh, the clean to animate uh, from the right to the center, right? So how do we do this? Now this clean and the edit button and then the delete is not absolute. So we can't just move it in any way we want. What are we going to have to do? is pretty simple let's find it to do let's go to our homepage at the, the js and then let's find the to do which is this one right here so let's look for to do in our css and then here same thing we're going to name it animation duration we're just going to put 400 milliseconds and then for animation name i'm just going to put to do animation and in here at keyframe identifier will be to do animation from 
now from because it's not absolute we can't just move it anywhere so we have to set the position absolute so that we can move it right and then here we're gonna do right negative one negative one test on pixel and then two we'll just put it at center so it will be right 2000 pixel and then let's try, try adding I don't know something like ASD perfect right when we delete everything else is still working so that's pretty much it all right look at that beautiful so I'm gonna be making more projects and videos like this so make sure that you are subscribed because you don't want to miss it and comment down below that you've subscribed I'm gonna be replying to those comments as much as I can if you like the video Please leave a like. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.